Hello, this is a walkthrough for Little Sister by Philip Newman, which is originally posted in GAS on December 30th, 2023. Um, I apologize for being kind of sweaty and disgusting. I just got back from a long run. I realized about two thirds of the way through that I was not going to have time to both shower first and record this. So here we are, we're doing this live. Um, it is a good puzzle though. I hope you really enjoy this one. So this is a little killer Sudoku. We're following standard Sudoku rules, so we have to place the digits 1 through 9 one time each in each row, each column, and each marked 3x3 three three region. We also have little killer rules. Some diagonals have an arrow with a clue value pointing to them. The digits along each marked diagonal, like for instance here, sum to whatever the clue total is. So these three cells, whatever is in them, has to sum to a total of 12. Unlike Killer Sudoku, which uses cages and has a no repeats in cages rule, Little Killer Sudoku allows you to repeat digits along these diagonals as long as they don't break Sudoku rules. And we'll be pointing out some situations where that happens in this puzzle. Now, the first place to go generally in Little Killer Sudoku is going to be wherever you see either a low clue total with a high digit or digits in it already, or a high clue total with a low digit or digits already. And so the first place I'm going to go with this is this 12 clue. There's a 9 in it already, and these need to sum to 12, so we only need a total of 3 more, and because these are both in the same box, they have to be 1 and 2. Similarly up here, we have an 8 in this 12 already, so we have a total of 4 more and 2 cells. Those 2 cells see each other. We can't do 2 plus 2, therefore we must do 1 plus 3. These are relatively unrestricted. I could pencil in the totals here. I'm not going to, but I'll probably do that a little bit later. Here, I mean, it could be anything that sums to 10 in these two cells, so we're going to leave that for now. We do have a 30 clue that already has a 3 in it. That is very low compared to a total of 30. 30 minus 3 is 27, which is a kind of an old friend as a number because that is 3 times 9. 9 is our highest digit in Sudoku, and we only have 3 cells, so we need to place 3 9s there. This 30 has a 4 in it, which leaves us with 26. Now, 26 can only be created in Sudoku as 9, 9, and 8. So we need to place two 9s. We can't place a 9 in this cell because there's already a 9 in the row. So we need to place our 9s here. And then we're going to place an 8 here. Now I see the possibility of doing some Sudoku on 9s. I have 9s in all of my edge regions. So I'm going to put a 9 here. And I have 9s here and here, so there's only one place for a 9 in box 8. That'll go there. I have one 9 left to place in box 1, and it needs to go there. That's the only position that'll allow a 9. And the thing that stands out to me there is that I did just place... My cats just did something. Um, I did just place a 9 into this clue. So now I have 9 plus 5, which is a total of 14. 30 minus 14 is 16. So how do I make 16? Well, the interesting thing here is that I can't use any 9s to finish off that total of 16 because I already have 9s in both of these boxes. So these have to both be 8. 8 plus 8 is the biggest I can make it, and sure enough, 8 plus 8 is 16. So now do I get a chance to do some Sudoku on 8s? I have 8s there and there in rows 1 and 2, so I know I need an 8 in one of these two cells. And I don't immediately see anywhere else that I can work with 8s, so I'm just going to keep that back of mind while I work on the other clues. So what else can we fill in that we haven't been able to do so far? So I'm going to revisit my 12 clues now. This 12 clue is actually looking kind of interesting, because I said earlier that I had to sum these two cells to make 10. And there are three ways to make a sum of 10 in two cells. And three of them are actually ruled out here, given what I've placed already. So 1 plus 9 is ruled out, because I can't use 9. 2 plus 8 is ruled out, because there's already a 2 that I've used, so I can't repeat the 2 in the box. 3 plus 7 is still okay. 4 plus 6 was ruled out from the beginning because of the 4 in the box, so this must be a 3-7 pair. So that's dealt with, I'll just need to wait to see how that resolves. This 12 clue, looking at this again, I can't determine exactly how these sum to 6. These are either 1 and 5 or 2 and 4. But this 8 that I corner marked here has to go here because 8 is definitely not a part of any total that sums to 12 with a 6. That's way too big. All right, last clue that I haven't used, 30. I have a 7 here. 30 minus 7 is 23. So how am I going to make a total of 23? That seems pretty unrestricted, 
but I'm a little limited on what digits I'm even allowed to use here because I can't use nines in any of these cells. So the absolute biggest I can possibly make these three digits is going to be eight plus eight plus eight, which is 24 or one off of the maximum. So we're one away from being at our absolute maximum value, which means that at most we can go down by one with some of these. So like this could, this could be an eight or like potentially it could be a seven. We could go down by one because we're one below the maximum. Similarly, this could be an eight or a seven. And this could be an eight or a seven, but it can't be a seven, so it must be an eight. So now we've dealt with our clues more or less. We haven't quite fully resolved this but we have some progress with the clues. And so now before we get anything else, we're going to have to do some Sudoku. I know, right? So let's have a look. I see this three looking at this one three pair that resolves it. The three resolves this to a seven. And now this seven resolves this to an eight. And really I could have noticed that much earlier, but it's not a problem that I didn't see it until a little bit later because I was able to kind of neatly resolve the pencil marks there. These sum to 16 plus 7, which is 23, and so now I need a 7, which confirms what I worked out earlier, that we're going to be one below the absolute maximum. This is going to be my slightly lower digit. Now I see that I have three 8s in these spots, and that rules 8 out of almost every position in the middle box, so we'll place an 8 here. I have two 7s here. And I'm looking specifically for hiddens in the corners, just because I do have these corner boxes having kind of these neat configurations of empty boxes or empty cells that tends to point to the presence of hidden digits. And in this case, it definitely does. So I have seven here, seven down here, which gives me a hidden seven in this region. Do I get any other sevens? Yes, I do. The hidden seven in this region is here because we have sevens in these rows and in these columns. And I can't quite place a seven in this row yet. And I can't quite place a seven up here in box two yet. So we'll have to hang on to those for the time being. This region is looking restricted. So I need a two, a four, and a six, and I have a two and four in this column already. So that's going to be a two, four pair in some order. And that's going to interact nicely with this region. So I need a one, five, and six. The one can't go in these two cells because there's already a one in the column. So I'm gonna place a five, six pair there. So this has to be my other member of the two, four pair. What do I still need in this region? So I need one, two, four, and five. And so a pair here will have to sum to six. This is not a one, therefore this is not a five, because I know those have to sum to six. These are also from one, two, four, and five, meaning that these three cells are from three, six, and eight. The eight can't go at the bottom of the column because there's an eight in the region. And so these cells contain a three and six. Uh, my one that I placed a minute ago will resolve this pair. And that will place a one in this region, which finally lets me finish off my 12 clue for the last of my variant clues in this puzzle. Let's finish off with some standard Sudoku. So my last digit in this row is going to be a five. My last two digits in this region are four and five, which go this way around. Let's look at these columns. So I need one, two, and five here. And I need a three, four, and six here. And I'm being a little bit sloppy pencil marking those in so early I don't really need to do that, but I'm just gonna do it so that when I look at that later, I won't have to waste time thinking through it again. So I need to place a five in this column and also a three. And because there's a five already in row six, I'll place that there. That's not a three or a four because of the three and the four in the row. So that's a six. That's not a six. I need a one or a two here. I also need to place a six in this region and it can only go in that position. And then this has to be either one, two, or four. This can't be a five, so my five in this region goes here. These are from one, two, three, and four, and they can't be four. This is also either one, two, or three. Okay, what do I still need here? So I still need uh, one, two, three, and four. Really, these low digits are hanging on until the bitter end, aren't they? So here I still need a six and a seven, and also a two and a four. So this is either a two or a six. This is either a two, four, or seven. This is not really turning out fruitful, so let's look somewhere else before we just bash through that with pencil marks, shall we? And I, I like to do that while I'm solving. I'm happy to kind of move away from something if it's not proving to be productive, especially in gas where I can be confident there's always an easy next move somewhere, even if I haven't quite seen it. So here I still need a two, six, and seven. And that doesn't resolve yet. 
So what can I do here? Oh, okay, it's in the bottom row. This is what I need. So I still need 3, 5, and 6. This can't be a 5. So my only position remaining for a 5 here is there, which resolves the 3, 6 pair. That eliminates 3 from these cells, so I know there's a 3 in one of those cells. Therefore, there's not a 3 here, so that's a 4. That's going to be a 2, which eliminates 2 from those cells and kind of bounces back and makes that a 2. And resolves all of these positions. Nice, we're well on our way to being done with this then. These cells have to contain 1, 4, and 5. 5 can only go there, and this is going to be a 1, 4 pair in an unknown order so far. I have a 2, 6 pair here, and I also have a 4 already, and I can eliminate 2 there thanks to the pair. Here I still need 1, 4, and 6 or 7. Ah, this cell is going to finish off a lot of it. So I didn't notice that, but I had one remaining cell in column one. That's a four, that's a two. And I think that that's going to get us everything with Sudoku alone and without referring to any other variant techniques. I think we've finished it all up. All right. Happy New Year, my friends. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much uh, for all of the subs that you've given us so far, for all of your kind comments. We really appreciate hearing them. And here is to a really big and really exciting year in 2024. Catch you next time.